Hey everyone, welcome back to Code Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a coin counter in Godot and exposing it to your UI. So let's go ahead and get started. I have this simple icon of this coin picture and you can use whatever you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to scene, select new scene and under the root node, I'm actually just going to look for an area 2D and it's going to give us this warning sign because we need a collision. So I'm going to look for a collision shape 2D and I'll just simply add a circle. And then while well, area 2D is selected, I'm going to look for a sprite 2D so that I can just drag my icon and just set it to my texture. And I'll just zoom in by clicking F and scrolling in with my mouse wheel. And I'm going to double click on area 2D and change this to coin. And for the node, I'm going to select groups and I'll click this plus button to add this to a group called coin. So I'll go ahead and hit control S and just save this in my scenes folder like so. And now we need to create a script for our coin. So it'll be pretty simple. I'm just going to click on this plus sign to attach a script and I'll save this into the scripts folder and it'll be called coin.gd. Hit load and you'll be greeted with just an extends area 2D. I'm simply just going to go to the node and it's going to probably not show anything. If that's the case, just select that area 2D again to show the node and then I'll click signals and then I'm going to double click area entered area 2D and just connect it to the top level or the coin. And basically when we enter this area, I'm simply just gonna call the queue free, which will just make the coin disappear so we can't collect it again. And this is actually all I need. I just need the signal and we're good to go. And now I'm gonna head over to my player scene, click on 2D and then I'll click on my player. And this is a character body 2D, but I actually need an area 2D so that I can interact with my other area 2D. This is just how I personally like to do it. So while player selected, I'm gonna hit control A and look for area 2D. And then I'll get this warning sign again because of my collisions. So I'm going to look for a collision 2D and then I will just select collision shape 2D, click on the inspector, and then the shape will be my new circle shape. And this will pretty much just be where my character can pick up loot from. So I'll just have this pretty big radius so that I can pick up loot from quite a distance away. And now I'll go into my player.gd script and I'm going to just create a variable called coin counter is equal to zero, just because our player will always start with zero coins. And I'm going to scroll down under all my functionalities that I've created. And I'm just simply just going to create a function called set coin. And I'm going to pass in the variable called new coin count, which is going to be of type int like so. And then I'm just going to set our coin counter is equal to new coin count. And then above this, I'm going to create another on area 2D entered. So I'm going to click on area 2D, click on node. And then under signals, I'm going to look for the area entered and just connect this into my player. So it'll add this at the bottom. I'm actually just going to move it here. And now I'll remove this line where it says pass. So whenever we enter the area of the on 2D entered, first we're going to check for this if the area is in a group that's called coin. And that resembles the coin group that we created over here in the groups tab. And if that's true, then we're just going to call this function called set count. I'm actually going to change this to set coin like so. So we'll call set coin and then I will do coin counter plus one. And then I'll simply just print out that coin counter. So I'll print coin counter like so. So let's go ahead and go to our game scene and I'll drag in a few coin scenes around here, here and here. Now when I go ahead and hit play, we should see the coins counting when my player goes over them. So it prints out one, two, and three. Perfect. So now let's display this on a UI. So I'm going to go ahead and change the font just as personal preference. So I'm going to go up to project, project settings and look for the GUI. And then under theme, I'm just going to select a custom font and I'll just look for in my fonts folder. I'll select the superstar memes, bro. And then I need to save and restart. And now with, the, with my project restarted, it's going to default my text anywhere on my game to be that font unless I specify otherwise. So in the game tab, I'm just going to control A and look for a label. And with this label selected, all I need to do is just go to the inspector and I'll just do something like coin count and I'll just type in coin count colon zero and I'll click new label settings just in case I want to adjust the font. And I don't see the text because it's actually down here. So I'm going to move this to the top left of my screen and I can actually nest it into my camera. So technically wherever I go, it'll be stuck on this top right portion. So let me show you an example. So if I move around, coin count will always be in this position, but let's actually make this functional. So back in my player script, 
And now at the top of my player.gd, I'm simply just going to do an on ready variable. And I'll call this something like coin label. It's going to be equal to, I want to get this label. So I'm just going to right click on this label and actually access as a unique name. And I'll just drag this label in like so. And now this error will go away. And I'll copy paste the label coin label variable that we created and go down under set coin. And I'm just going to simply do the coin label dot text is equal to, and then in quotes, I'll do coin count colon and make sure you include a space just so there's a space between your colon and your number. And we're going to do plus the string format of the coin counter like so. And now when we go ahead and hit play, whenever I go over coin, you'll see this number increase to one, two, three, and so on. And that's how you create a coin counter in Godot. Thanks for watching Codes Row. Like, subscribe, comment what you want to see next. I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.